you walk down the locker room or the hallway by the boys' locker room, as you get closer and closer, you eventually start to smell the odor of football players. And maybe in some small way, cross-country runners, although they don't use the locker room because they don't like the smell. Uh, why is it that we can smell the locker room down the hall? Another question. Sometimes we're sitting in here and somebody makes popcorn next door, or worse yet, burns popcorn in the teacher's lounge, and that burnt popcorn smell makes it to us. What? It's pretty warm. So it has to be warm for a smell to get there. Why? Molecules move faster when it's warm. That's true. So if Monica, for example, were to pass gas, okay? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you don't do that, okay? But if Monica were to pass gas and it blows out from her rear end this way, how come it does that? Like, how come it just doesn't go out in a stream, like in a direction? You know what I mean? Why is it that eventually maybe Will and Alina and Jess will all smell it? Why does it go forward? It's moving. Why? Because it's warm. Really, it has to be warm to move. So you've never walked in your house and it's kind of cold inside and smelled something. You have. Well, being warm helps. Okay? When we're talking about this. We're going to, this is kind of a catchy title for the, um, we're going to talk first of all briefly about movement of molecules, then we're going to talk about the cell membrane, and then we're going to do a, a sort of lab with it. Okay, so we're talking about movement of molecules, and this start with, I don't know why I have this written here, let me, let me just do this, we'll catch up with that later. Okay, we're going to first of all talk about how it is a smell can reach our nose. Okay? Or we take a bottle of water, put in some food coloring, and pretty soon all of the liquid is colored. Okay? The answer to that lies in discussion of how molecules move in the first place. Okay? How do they move in the first place? If you had chocolate chip cookies at home, Okay, you just kind of picture this. You have chocolate chip cookies at home. Somebody just took them out of the oven and set them on the thing. And you walk in the door and go, I smell chocolate chip cookies. Why? The cookies are way over there in the kitchen. How come you can smell them? Because they move. But they move in a certain direction. They move in a certain direction. There's direction to their movement. And that direction is, and I, I put the word membrane in here because that's what we're talking to, but you, about what it could be in any direction, essentially. Okay, and it's this. In general, for any molecule to go across the membrane, or for any molecule to, we could write, move in a direction, there must be a concentration gradient. A concentration gradient is a, quote, directional difference in concentration. About that. What does the word concentration mean in this case? What is concentration? Not to think hard. Sam, what's concentration? Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Correct. How many molecules, okay, which of these cubes has a higher concentration of dots? The one on the left has a higher concentration. It's the amount in an area. Okay? So in order for molecules to move in a direction, there has to be what we call a gradient. Gradient, by definition, is like a hill. Okay? A difference in concentration. So on this part right here, okay, right here, the
the molecules that die on the the molecules that die over here are at high concentration. They're really close together, and over here there aren't any. So they will move in this direction until the concentration is equal. We call it equilibrium. So the chocolate chip cookie molecules are diffusing away from the chocolate chip cookies, and they fill the house with the same. You could go anywhere in the house, and it smells the same to you. You're like, well, wait a minute, when I'm in the house for a while, I don't smell it anymore. That's called, that's a phenomenon called adaptation that happens in your brain. Okay? So you get used to things, like the feel of the shoes on your feet. Okay? That now you feel again, which is annoying, because you weren't feeling them before. Okay? That's different. So we're talking about molecules move from, and they go, a concentration gradient, and they tend to go from high too low, and we use it, we have a word for that, and that word is downhill. They go downhill from high concentration or pressure to low concentration or pressure. What does it have to do with cells? Well, as it turns out, just about everything. Okay? It has just about everything to do with cells. What we're going to talk about in here is how do cells get things... We're going to talk about the cell membrane and how cells get things in and out. And we use the term for a cell membrane. We say that cell transport is the movement of molecules that go through a selectively permeable membrane. Selectively almost literally means that it chooses it, and permeable means stuff can get in, or stuff can go through it. So we're going to talk about how things get in and out of the cell membrane. 